Welcome back to Kirstie's virtual classroom. This lab is looking at metamorphic rocks and the rock cycle. So as per usual, there's a little bit of background information here for you. And then we have different sections of the lab. So the first part is pressure. So we have confining pressure and directed stress or directed pressure. So remember directed stress or directed pressure is from two sides and confining is from all four. So there's a video for you to watch here, um, and then you answer the question based on what is being demonstrated. And then there are a couple of more questions um, regarding the video. And then you get into the identification of the metamorphic rocks. So <clears throat> here you have a flow chart as per usual. So it go, it's basically separated between the foliated and the non-foliated metamorphic rocks and then it gives you the um, grain size some of the other description of its texture the composition the metamorphic rock and then the parent rock okay and if you remember from lecture we talked a little bit about which parent rocks would belong to which metamorphic rocks okay so you watch the video and as you give you some hints in the videos make sure you're listening and then you'll be asked whether it is foliated or non-foliated. And that kind of gets you to go through um, breaking up these different segments of the flowchart. So you'll look at sample one. Is it foliated, not foliated? You'll answer yes or no, or foliated or not foliated. And then it'll just ask you which rock it is. Okay, so this is pretty intuitive. Um, instead of filling out a big chart, you're just answering the multiple choice questions here. And they're the same for each of the rocks, okay? And then the last part here is looking at the rock cycle. So you'll navigate to this learner.org URL, and it'll take you to this, and you can move around these different um, items, and then when you hit done, it will, um, oh, it'll ask you some questions, and then you'll go through all of this screenshot all of your results so it's just kind of a little practice thing um, a little demonstration you'll screenshot your results and then put them here if you can't screenshot or print screen your computer you can take a picture with your phone or whatever works for you it's really just proof that you um, completed this little interactive um, activity okay and then you just submit and you're done hope that helped you a little bit and i will See you guys in the next video.